welcome back to Simmercraft. You guys, I am so excited to be back on Simmercraft and it's actually the first time that I have posted Simmercraft on Kristen Plays. So it is completely new and I thought it would be so much fun to give you guys a little bit of a world map tour of everything that we have added in because it's been a while <laughs> and I've actually been working really hard on adding a bunch of new stuff that I really am proud of and I really did want to make Simmercraft just so much more comparable to like things that are in The Sims and I really wanted to bring that community into Minecraft, you guys know. <laughs> My whole plans for the series, so I thought it would be really fun just to go through and give you guys a complete overlook. And if you guys are interested in sending in an application, there's actually an open application over on the Simmercraft on Twitter, so I will leave all of that down in the description. So we are just gonna go ahead and jump right into it. Okay, so the first thing that I wanna show you guys is the current new member wall. So I'm really excited for this and I love that all of the teleportation to everybody's homes is right there. So you're gonna be able to see exactly who the member is with their name and you can teleport to their home. So a lot of new faces here and a lot of them are actually still like settling in and building their homes and hopefully we'll still have like some more members to come. So when you first come in, you are gonna wanna set up your teleport so that as soon as you find the spot that you're gonna be building, you have everything on you because there's nothing worse than actually finding where you wanna live <laughs> and not even having the teleport. So we do have me here right in the center. I am, of course, in diamonds. I am the owner and then we have Shannon Matt. You guys know they are always my moderator on everything that I have to do with Minecraft and everybody else is in leather. Evelyn thought she was naked, but I swear you're not naked. So over here is just the town center. So you guys know the Spice District is my favorite district in The Sims. That's always where I am building in San Myshuno. But we do have the fountain, which turned out to be like five times as big as I thought it was gonna be. And then over in here is the Simmercraft food cart and donation box. So you can actually come over, purchase some snacks, and foods or you can go in there and leave a donation whether it's like tools or anything that maybe you have too much of other than dirt nobody wants dirt <laughs> and then we have just like some seats over here so if you do grab a bite and you just maybe want to hang out with the community you can do that and then there is just this little campfire so if you just want to hang out by the water there's a campfire there as well. Now, one of the first things that I did build when we were over in the Spice District is the Bistro. I don't know if I'm gonna keep the Bistro like hovering over there, but this is just a really cozy, comfy little spot that you can come in, grab something to eat. Oh my gosh, it is so hard having the menu off. But again, just some more seating here. And over here, there's actually a bunch of food. So if you go on a date, you can actually just like grab some food to eat. And then there is actually a loft upstairs and we're gonna check that out. It's a little bit questionable. <laughs> Not gonna lie, we'll head over there later on, but there's this little cute little seating area and that fireplace actually goes like onto the inside as well. So did I sit down? No, okay. So we're gonna go upstairs and check out the loft in the bistro. And you guys, I don't know why I did this, but I did and I even have this like <laughs> the camera facing the bed. I don't know why I did that or if it's gonna stay like that, but I even did that like on my Sims mobile. I don't know, it's questionable, but if you do happen to find yourself stuck in town, you can come in, sleep, and get the daytime coming if you're stuck in town. Okay, so this, oh my gosh, okay, there we go. I freaking hate the ladder. So we do have Patchy, Patchy the Scarecrow from The Sims has made his appearance over into Minecraft. There is two of them, so I might even rename Patchy number two, 2.0. I don't know, maybe we'll do something else. If anybody needs wheat, you can get that here, just replant, and then, you guys, it's me and my big head. <laughs> but if you go into my player head, this is where you are gonna find Bailey. So if anybody is on the server and maybe, you know, they just need a few more quests, if they have already completed their quest book and they're waiting for volume two, you can come in here, meet with Bailey. And if you click on her, she will give you different tasks that you're gonna need to do to um, complete that for her. I, I'm really interested in her hat. <laughs> 
really interested okay and then over here is actually the spice district school so i did want to keep everything just really brick and dark if you guys are simmers which i honestly hope you are but the spice district is like it's all brick apartments and has like the little basketball net so i did picture to have the school over here so it's just really simple and then in the back there's actually the playground the Spice District playground. So I didn't want to add in a basketball net, but I might put one, you know, behind the school. And was there anything else over on the main area here? Oh wait, yes there is. So back here behind the school, there is the daytime and clear weather, which everybody freaking needs those. And I thought it was a good idea to put them down by the teleport. So if you're at your home, you can just teleport to Spice District and just like change the weather. And I'm currently also setting up the World Teleport, so you can go to the Arts District, Newcrest, Forgotten Hollow, and let's go to, let's go to Newcrest. <laughs> so this is actually just a town that I found. If you guys know, Newcrest has actually like nothing in it, so I thought this was really funny just to put that there, so we're going to go back. And then there's the Forgotten Hollow, which we are going to visit all of them. So this is actually everything that is in the Spice District. So I'm not going to teleport just so that you guys can see like how we get everywhere. And I'm not going to do a host tour of mine today. If you guys are interested in that over on my second channel, my main channel, I do have a complete home tour that I did. But I am actually renovating my home because I want to make it a little bit more like traditional just for the server. So I'm actually going to be like demolishing that one and we have Evelyn's house which is so freaking dreamy We're actually headed right now over into the arts district originally this was the fashion district that's why we have these two fools <laughs> but if we go up into spawn this is where everybody is going to get their starter chest so there's actually a few members that have just joined us this week so they still have their starter chest to get and then once they get that is this is actually like where you can get your mail. So if there are any new quest books or anything, they're just gonna get like dropped in here. So it's just really bright, I love this. This is like one of my favorite freaking spots. And there's an enchanting book as well, so if anybody needs that. And I do eventually want to add like an enchanting book store or something. <laughs> but over in here is actually the potion, so it's just like a large, um giant bottle of potion i didn't know what color to do but i figured purple kind of matched because i do have like a lot of witchy stuff here and if we go in this is where you could actually like purchase different stuff to make potions and stuff like that so very simple and um okay close door <laughs> there's nothing more annoying than when people don't close the freaking door so over here you can actually get your fortunes told at the hocus pocus prediction so you guys have probably already seen the big old giant witch portal on my other channel and i thought it was really fitting to do this i have seen these um fortune tellers in like a lot of amusement parks so I did want to make it very fitting for our server. So all you have to do is throw in five gold nuggets and ask Hilda a question. So, hey Hilda. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's so cute. So then over in here, we do have the Simmercraft market. So if there's anything in the community market that you want to see, maybe there's something that you just cannot find, like you've been on, you know, exploring. Sometimes it's just really hard to find stuff. So if there's anything that you would like to see added, you're just going to add it over onto the community. And I mean, there's no guarantees that it'll come, but, <laughs> and then over in here, everybody does get some free armor. So there's the witch hat that matches with the arts and also a pirate, just in case anybody would prefer that. And then if we go up into the witch hat, this is actually the portal. So there used to be a whole bunch of parrots in there. I don't know where they went, but um, yeah. So this is actually where the um, portal is so we can end up over in the fashion or over in the spice district if we need and then we can just head back over into the arts let's let into the arts okay so then if we travel over here this is actually the simmercraft market festival so this instead of it just being a you know a festival that comes and goes this is actually here to stay so everybody can come over 
claim their booths, which a lot of people have, but this is the community booth. So this is going to be, you know, items in here changed. So if you do happen to see anything in here that you really want to get your hands on, you're going to really want to grab it because it does change. And yeah, I have not set up shop. <laughs> and then we have Shan's, Aveline's, Fishy Pies for Fishy Prices. And then if we go over in here, that is actually just a whole bunch of other players like Pixie Princess is over there. And I think Shan is over in the side and um, we have the Hobbit hole. So if we go downstairs, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. So we do have a little bar with the aquatics underneath. <laughs> so yeah, this is just kind of a little hangout area. If you want to come over and actually meet a bunch of townies, you can come over here if you are looking, you know, for marriage, if you want to have children. So we're going to head back over into the spice district just because, I mean, everything's so far away. So instead of traveling back, let's go back to the spice district. We have seen Newcrest. Let's get rid of the rain. So we are now leaving the spice district. So over to the right, this is the romance festival. So this is where the portal is going to bring you which brings you right to the entrance. So if you do want to get married or have celebrations, this is just kind of the area for, it. oh my God, there's bugs. But you can kind of just come over, celebrate, have something to drink, something to eat. And then if you are getting married, you can leave gifts over here. So I feel like this would be a really cute spot, you know, to have maybe a birthday party also. I kind of want to make this a dance floor, but um, yeah. <laughs> So then we do have the wedding chapel area and then behind here is actually the fireworks station. So if any of you guys are, you know, fans of The Sims and you travel to the district and you get married, there are fireworks that do go off once it's done. So this is going to be something that you will be seeing. I don't want to set it up right now because I feel like that's just going to be something special to come. So over in here, let's let's keep on going. I'm kind of nervous to go um, on to the next spot. So yeah, we're just going to keep on traveling. We're going to save in there. Ooh, <laughs> so scary. But if we come over here, this is where all of the members are actually going to be able to own and tame their own pet. So this is the community petting zoo. So you can come in here, get a name tag and claim one of your pets and name them. So there's little bunnies, there's pigs. And I don't have anything over in here yet because I do want to make it, you know, something rare. I just haven't been able to figure out what I wanted it to be. And then we do have the pixies and fairies and they are freaking thieves. So you might not want to go in here. <laughs> and they leg my game out too. So, oh, there's Rogue Hippie's home over there. So freaking cute. And then, um, yeah, that's really everything that's over there for the petting zoo. And then... Over in here is Forgotten Hollow. Now this is actually one of my favorite but scariest places to visit. So over in Forgotten Hollow of the Sims, that is where the Vitors all hang out, all of the vampires, and you really don't want to go there because there is a high chance at becoming a vampire. So we do have the Forgotten Hollow Cemetery, which there's already unfortunately Bailey. <laughs> if you guys remember Bailey over in the quest lodge, um, she kind of escaped. I had to kill her. It's a short story, but um, yeah, it wasn't your fault. So she's over there and Shan's wife is actually dead as well. <laughs> so she's over there. Now this is the big haunted mansion. So vampire hunters wanted. So this is kind of both where vampires and hunters hang out. So if you do want to either become a vampire or hunt them, you're gonna find almost everything that you need in here for purchase and all of the different setups of everything to create like all of the different potions and tools and everything like that. And then it's just kind of lofty in here. I did wanna kinda of keep it all open. Oh, I thought that candle went out. But if we go upstairs, this is where all of like the blood injectors are and the coffins for vampires. So. Let's get out of here because <laughs> this place kind of creeps me out, not going to lie. And then if we keep on walking down, you guys, I actually made a mistake. I thought, I mean, if you guys seen my vanilla server, this is kind of inspired by I had a pig that was hanging over lava and I thought it would be really cool to do this and put a vampire in it. So I went ahead, spawned in a vampire and when I came back the next day, he was gone. 
so we now have vampire missing <laughs> beware so i swear that i have seen him kind of like come back and was like creeping through but I mean, we do have all of the hunters up there. So if you come and teleport from the Spice District, you're just gonna show up here. And then if we keep on going, this is the Vampire's Hunter, Vampire Hunter Haven. So this is where you are gonna find all of the vampire hunters that look like Abe Lincoln. <laughs> and all of the tents, if you wanna come hang out here with them, they're just kind of all spawned up in here. And I think that is actually everything for Simmercraft. Now, you guys, there's actually a whole ton of stuff still to come. But there is so much to do, so many quests. And if there is anything from The Sims that you would really love to see on Simmercraft, definitely let me know down in the comments. So that is everything. I hope that you guys did enjoy today's town overview. You guys are going to be seeing so much more Simmercraft here on my channel. And like I said, if you guys do have a channel and you guys love The Sims and you like Minecraft, there is a Twitter that you guys are going to want to follow. So make sure that you do give this video a very big thumbs up. It always lets me know that you guys did enjoy. And hopefully I'm going to see you all in my next video. Bye guys.